Shalom Aleichem. This is our generation, you know, a crazy lifetime, challenges and struggles in every step of the way. And we need to maintain and uh, strengthen ourselves, maintain the faith in the deepest place and most solid place in our hearts. And the person, as a creation, has a certain tool that is called the power of choice, the free choice. And it's in our hands always to choose right and to do the right things in every intersection in life. Now, how will you know what is the right thing? That is the first question. And how will you find the power to choose right? That's the next step. So first of all, inside of us, there is a very wonderful and simple system that has only two options, right and wrong, good and bad. Certain sentence inside of us is always hinting us if we feel good about our choices and if not, if we're scared or if we're not, if we're happy or if we're, God forbid, sad. In any situation, you have only two options. So you should always want to choose the good, to choose life, to choose to be truthful and honest and sensitive and loving and all the good things and qualities that are installed inside your body, inside your mind, are the right ones that you need to choose. Now, how will you know that you'll have the power to choose right and to follow your heart and to do God's will and to keep His commandments and never to violate any of the prohibitions so the gift is that the person has a godly soul. Now, a godly soul is such an enormous power that because that the fact is that it's godly, so it means that it's beyond this world. And if it's beyond this world, it means that it has the power to overpower the heaviness and darkness of physicality because it's made out of godliness and the godly soul is treasured inside of us and we just need to connect ourselves to it and by that we're going to connect ourselves to an endless source of energy and positive power that will give us the ability to make all the wonderful changes that needs to be done and to choose properly to go into those places that we must go and to conquer and to achieve and to reach those highly destinies, destinations that the Creator set for us to achieve. We are here on a life mission, must be strong, always to express the good always to express the truth, not to be scared and not to surrender to fear and to terror and to all kinds of pressure, feelings of loneliness and sadness, depression, anxieties. Never, ever, ever to let those dark forces conquer and break our minds and our spirits and just always to be truthful and faithful and to trust the Creator that He knows exactly what He's doing with us and to allow Him to lead us and to count on Him and to follow the good commandments and to do only good and never to give up on the mercy and to rise and shine and to help others and to do the best that we can in every step of the way and may Hashem answer all our prayers in no time and we'll see the complete redemption in our lives. Amen. May it be His will. Ken Yehi Ratzon.